All right, welcome back. My name is Larry James. My company is SpeakWithLarry.com. And this video I'm titling, Five Tips for Doing Research. Quite often what people don't really realize is that in the 21st century, which is where we are right now, it's very important that you do research. And you no longer have to go to the library or, you know, uh, read a book. You can actually do that type of research that's necessary online now. And a lot quicker, a lot less expensive, and a lot more, uh, let's say, thorough because you have a variety of different resources you can, uh, you know, access. And if you are interested in doing something online today, you're probably going to do it in conjunction with videos, just like what I'm doing. So the easier it is for you to understand a research process when you uh, have a topic that you are going to talk about or you're going to share information about, the easier and sm smoother the transition will be because you have to do things repetitively online. You have to let people know you exist. First of all, you're actually creating all that you have access to. People don't know you initially. So once you start to write posts, write blogs, create videos, post pictures, uh, do whatever techniques you use to uh, let people know you exist, then you actually are starting to build an audience. And when you're building that audience, you can actually kind of make that audience specific to what you're sharing information about, right? Now, the five tips I want to give you uh, today are based on just simply me going to Google and typing in how to do research. And that's, that's, it's, a, it's that simple as to what you would do. You would do something very similar. Just type in whatever comes to your mind on Google and it will give you a list of choices. You'll get options. I always like to share with people that it's good to have options. It's better, to, the more options you can have, the better. But, you know, not always, you know, you have situations where, you know, uh, when you have too many options, you can't make a choice. I know that seems to be uh, one of the things that we struggle with as human beings. Uh, so sometimes, you know, you want to give people one, two, or three, something like that. You don't want to have like 20 because that's too many. You know, first of all, you got to understand what each option would entail, right? That's too many. So if you have one or two, that's good. We only have one though that's not so good in most cases unless that option really benefits you right <laughs> and that's not really uh, uh what we should be doing we should be focused on helping others as well not just ourselves so i'm going to talk about these uh five tips for doing research tip number one is to choose a topic once you decide on the topic that you're going to do research on then every time you see that topic of that title in your in your mind as you're doing research, uh, it's going to draw your eye to it, and then you're going to have a tendency to read a little bit, understand a little bit more about the topic that you chose. Tip number two is create a search strategy. After a ch topic is chosen, you'll need to form a search strategy, and the way you do that is you decide on two, maybe three, or four of those places that Google has open your eyes to that you're going to do some research on that. I'll, I'll look first on this one, then I'll look at that one and see what they have to offer. And then you'll be combining what they have about that topic in your mind and how you want to formulate it as far as how you're going to uh, explain it to the audience that you're going to be creating. Like right now, you guys are my audience. When you're watching this video, you are my audience. And if this is the first time you're watching this video, Welcome, but if it's not, then you've seen me before. You understand what I talk about and the way I explain things to people, right? And that's what you'll be getting. You'll be getting that same effect. Okay, uh, number three is you have to, uh, once you uh, create a search strategy, you have to find that information, right? And once you find that information, that's what you'll be extracting from your search. You'll be... Uh, putting, uh, let's say, two or three sentences on this uh, notebook page, 
two or three sentences on this notebook page from that site two or three more sentences and you'll be bringing in all that information together and as you're doing that what happens is ideas start to pop in your mind that are in line with that topic because the more information you have the the more uh, you'll come up with solutions or you'll come up with creative ideas about that topic right and the fourth tip is that once you have all that then you have to evaluate that information because you're going to be posting that information to your people to your audience to the audience that you'll be creating and you know you want it to be valid you want it to be bring value and you want them to get some substance from it you want them to be able to take that information and use it in what they're doing right so that it'll help them grow uh, to the next level that's the way we want to do it right and the fifth tip is you have to decide you need to decide on which of the information that you've gathered that you'll be using and once you make that decision it's locked it's a lock right once you have said okay I'm gonna post these three quotes and I'm gonna post this video and I'm gonna post this article in line with what I want to share with my audience today and once you do that uh, let's say two three four five times you start to get more familiar with the actual process and see what that is that's creating a system and see all businesses is a, is a series of systems and once you get this system where it's you know pretty uh, regular and pretty understandable and you can actually teach that to someone else that that gives you value that lets you know that you know something that other people would like to know which means you can market that information that you know and make a profit from it I do it all the time and once you're able to do that then other lights will begin to go off in your head like wow what else can I do I want to do this too I want to do that too oh I've always wanted to do this let's see how that would work right and before you know it people will get to know who you are and you get to um, monetize what you do and life changes for you you no longer look at the day-to-day -day, uh, as a nine-to-five you know because you see opportunities that um, that nine-to-five could never allow right like you can grow you can make money where you may make a thousand dollars a week you may be able to make ten thousand dollars a week doing what you do right so you can never do that working for someone else but you can do that when you create your own business when you create your own style or you create your own empire right you're doing that at your pace but you're doing it you know you're, you're moving the needle and uh, you're gonna have to do research when you do that so take those five tips with you today and hopefully that uh, opens your eyes to some possibilities that I believe you can do and I can help speakerlarry.com